All right, kids, welcome to social studies for the week. We are again in our American Revolution 2 packets, and we are on brief 2, which according to your packet is page 101. Looks like this. Okay, so this is the break from Britain, and just go ahead and follow along as I read. The focus of this brief is the Declaration of Independence was approved on July 4, 1776. The Second Continental Congress. The Second Continental Congress met in Philadelphia in May of 1775. The colonial representatives agreed to create a Continental Army. The Continental Army would have soldiers from all 13 colonies. It would be led by General George Washington. Washington was an experienced soldier and leader. He fought in the French and Indian War. The Olive Branch. There had already been fighting between British soldiers and the colonial militias. They fought at Lexington and Concord, but the colonies did not want war. The Second Continental Congress decided to write to King George III. In their letter, they asked him to give the colonists more freedom. The letter they wrote is called the Olive Branch Petition. The Olive Branch Peti represents peace. The letter also told the king that the colonists wanted to settle peace through every part of our dominions. But King George III was very stubborn. When he received the letter, he wouldn't read it. He believed that what the colonists were doing was against the law. The Declaration of Independence. The Second Continental Congress decided to write a document that declared their independence from Great Britain. They had tried to compromise with the king, with King George III, but he was not interested in compromise. The Second Continental Congress asked one of their members to write this document. His name was Thomas Jefferson. Jefferson was a lawyer from Virginia. He was known as a very good writer. Jefferson was a little nervous about writing this document. He was only 33 years old at the time. He felt that someone with more experience should write it, but he agreed to write it. For two weeks in June of 1776, Jefferson worked on this document. Jefferson's document was called the Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence is a document that explained what the colonists believed in and why they wanted to be independent of British rule. It is one of the most important documents ever written. On July 4, 1776, the members of the Second Continental Congress approved the Declaration of Independence. The preamble, or the beginning, of the Declaration of Independence states, when in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have con connected them with another and to assume among the powers of earth the separate and equal st station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them, a decent respect to the opinions of mankind and requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to separation. In the preamble, Jefferson is saying that certain things have happened between the colonies and the government of Britain that have caused the colonists to want to be free of British rule. Jefferson also says that he will explain what these things are. The Declaration of Independence states, We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. In this part of the document, Jefferson is saying that all people are born free and with certain rights that no one can ever take away from them. This part of the document is often debated. At the time it was written, slavery was widespread in the United States. Also, women were not allowed to vote. The Declaration of Independence ends, and for the support of this declaration with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pled to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. Jefferson ends the document by saying that the colonists are willing to give up all of their possessions and are willing to die defending these rights. So the Declaration of Independence was a huge deal because it was us declaring not only to Britain but to the world that there were certain rights that everybody was born with and that we deserved those rights. And if Britain didn't agree with us, we didn't want to be part of Britain anymore. So that's why it's such a big deal. But I like where it says in the Declaration of Independence, it says that that we are all born with certain unalienable rights, and these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So for your assignment this week, I want you to write me one to two paragraphs about what makes you happy. What do you do in life that just makes you so, so happy? I would write about my family. My husband and my kids make me happy. Everything that I do 
is for them. So that's what I would write about. So what makes you happy? Go ahead and write that. If you can write it on a paper and turn it in or you can do a Google Doc and share it with me. All right, thanks kids.